Hello everybody, welcome to FC Mocha's Venture. This is Salem Joe. Like, comment, subscribe. Guys, welcome back. Please, please hit that join button, guys. Please hit that join button and support me. Thank you, guys. So, I'm going to be doing a very interesting uh, episode here where I'm talking about the guy that you just signed. Rashwin Dotley. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, but I think it's Rashwin. This guy, when I'm looking at the stats, you'll be like, okay, you know what? I think this was a steal. I don't know how much he spent, but I know it's a steal because of his age, because of other attributes. So when I was reading the article confirming on Fire Post yesterday that we bought this guy for, uh, we, I mean, not say, but we bought this guy. He has beautiful attributes. He, he's versatile. And we know that Nabi wants versatile players, small uh, small squads, not so much big squads because he wants to manage small squads. He, this guy is versatile. He's also a leader. Remember that he was a captain for Bafana Bafana in the Costa Rica Cup and in the squad. It's also a, skip, a captain. It's also versatile that he can play more than one position. He can play left back. He can play left center back. Remember, guys, we lost Shanti and Shanti did not have competition for years. The last time we had a good left back was when we still had a Masilela. For me, Masilela is our legend. For me, no one has been there and done all that Masilela has done. We had Yom Chichwa, he did a very good job. Very, very good job. We had your Obuwa, he did a very, very good job. But then after that, after Masilela basically, we have never really had a real left back. Someone whom we can trust, someone who can cement the starting lineup and leave, and leave no question marks. So finally, we are addressing a season of, we are addressing it. A position of so many seasons of neglect, you can say, because we haven't addressed this position. So we bought a guy. We did not just buy this guy. It was just a free run. You know that free run. No, you can pass. It's a free run or it's that home run when you're talking about the baseball. We had competition from Stellenbosch. We had competition from a super sport. Remember that you had lost that already on Basadin because they had, like, made him to sign a long-term contract and we needed to address that. Remember, Dove is out injured. Your Sam is out injured for two weeks at least. But who's going to be there when this preseason is continuing? Who's going to be covering a left back? You say Mashian? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know, I don't really believe that. Mashian is the best left back that you can have. I don't think that he can be reliable. So, us buying Sam, us buying Rush, Rashwin now, best decision. Our, our center back, our, our, let me say our back position. Our back position, our defense, like it's going to be solid next season. We still need to remember this guy, say that Dover is a left center back. Is injured. We still need competition for the clock. Who can play that left center back? Now, guys, modern football, it's balance. It's left and right. That's how it's played. It's rare you find players who are right-footed playing at the left center back. Because why? They can't really cover the left back. Because that's why you buy a, a left-footed player to play on the left side and the right-footed player to play on the right. So that they will be able to cover the right backs or the wing backs. So, I'm going to be talking about so many things in this video. However, I want to compare also this guy with Pasadin. Yes, with Pasadin. I can't compare with Mashian because Mashian did not really play so many games. So, I can't really compare him. So, I'm going to compare him with Pasadin. I'm going to compare with Pasadin. I thought of confirming, uh, comparing him with... Um, say it, say it, say it, say it. I thought of comparing him with... Mashiana is like, nah, Sam, nah, because Sam has not really played so many games. But let me just compare, guys. 
सो दिस काय दिस काय दिस काय राशविन टॉटली आम कोन छेल यू हिज एज इज 22 हिज 22 हिज हाइट इज 192 192 हिज 3 मी 3 सेंटीमीटर्स shorter than the guy who is tall that we just signed in Dwari our goalkeeper 3 cm 3 cm is not even recognizable so basically they almost they are almost the same height when last did you have a tall defender when last did you have a defender who's going to help us at the back clear those headers clear those set pieces when last did you have a um, center back who be scoring goals in, when we have set piece set pieces when last during matoho Did we, did we uh, replace him? No, we did not. We did not replace him, and now we are finally replacing him in terms of height. In terms of height, gonna do stats. So probably instead of doing his individual uh, stats, I'm gonna compare him with Barcelona. And I think in that way, you then get a picture of what are we getting. You get a picture of of what we are getting in this player. So what are his strengths? His positioning, he's good in his positioning. He's not found one thing. Guys, unfortunately, he's going to play a left back and I'm going to compare it with Stant. Stant his Stant's position was so poor last season. Like season prior that it was so poor and would concede goals mostly on his end, unfortunately. So his position his strengths are his positioning. Ariel Ajuaz is tall, and but there are some other tall players like yo, like yo, <laughs> like yo, 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 yo. Ah, uh, your tower. Tower was tall, but sometimes you'll be suspect at the back. You'll be suspect at the back, and you find your shorter players like your Erasmus heading the ball in front of him. It talks about positioning. Not necessarily height, but positioning. But this one, his positioning is very good. Meaning, what he's able to read play. That's what we need. What are his weaknesses? So they are not outstanding weaknesses. Meaning, what it's not that it does not have weaknesses, but it's there's nothing that is major for us that will cause alarm bells to say, no, 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 we do not buy very well. So with that said, with that said, rather, I'm gonna look at. His stats, like I said, I'm gonna compare him with Basadin. So one thing you need to know. Let me compare them age-wise. Uh, what was Basadin's height? What was Basadin's height? Sorry, let me quickly check. Basadin's height. Basadin's height. Basadin's height. Okay, age. Basadin is 27. This one is 22. A huge plus. A very huge. Huge, huge plus. But when you look at the heat map of these two, Basadin, like he occupies mainly the left hand side, and in him is also very influential when he's on the opposition, a uh, opposition when he's in opposition box or opposition area or half for that matter. This one on the opposition. Uh, half is not really there. However, the stats would tell otherwise. But I'm just gonna tell you that Basadin, in terms of the heat map, he was more stronger even on the opposition. This one can still influence the opposition, can still go up front and cause havoc. So I don't think that I should look at the heart of Basadin because yeah, definitely he's shorter than uh, this guy. However, now matches. When I'm comparing matches, minutes per game. So Pasadin would 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 play 84 per 84 minutes, while this guy plays 82 minutes. Pasadin plays longer. Put that into consideration. Matches played both. They are equally. They are paid on 25. Attacking wise, Pasadin has a goal. Remember, I said that Pasadin enters more the final third versus this guy. And then Basadin games per goal obviously is going to have 0.1. While this guy, I mean, he has one goal. While this guy did not score anything, however, he scored an international duty in the Kosafa Cup. Shot on target, Basadin has 0.2. He takes more shot. Basadin takes more shot, and they are accurate versus this guy, which is zero versus 0.08. 
shots of targets passed in his 0.5. He still takes more shots versus him, which of his off target, his shots for uh, rush wing is 0.4. Passed in still take more shots because the ends has the final play, final dead more. Could be because of how the teams are set up as well. Bear that in mind. Could be how teams are set up because this team was mostly defending versus any other team. Was more attacked versus any other team. So that license of going up front, pushing that far, probably wasn't that it wasn't there because solely because of that. One of the chances, big chances missed by Pasadena, it's two. He missed big chances, two big chances. And while uh, Rashwin did not have any because of how the team is set up again. Number of assists, you should assume already now that Pasadena will have more versus a Rashwin. However, the difference is not that much. Pasadena's... Um, Assist, it's two versus one for this guy versus one for Rashwin. Assist per game would be high, obviously, for Pasadin, which is 0 0.08 versus assist per game for Rashwin is 0 0.04. Long ball, okay, big chances created. Again, setup of the of, of, of the team could be a blast. No, it's a blast for Pasadin because they attack more. How many chances has it created? And also remember. A passer been also a he's also a freaking specialist. He's also a set piece specialist, basically. So he had big chances that he created. He had seven versus one for for Rashwin. Long balls. Now let's talk about defending long balls. Long balls. Accurate long balls. How many times did these guys long balls find their own players? Basadin had 35% while this guy had 42 plus 4. Rashwin. Crosses that Rashwin put, I mean Basadin put, it was 1.1, which was 25%, while this guy was 26%. Looks like it's more, but it's not more. He had fewer crosses, however, the accuracy of those passes are more versus Basadin's. Defending, because obviously we need to judge defenders by their defending. Who's the best? Intercept. Pasadena had 1.4 intercept. 1.4. Meaning what? The number of intercepts that this guy has, had made in a game, like the intercept that you see, you know what here, you read the game. We're going to be talking about the technical abilities, the technical abilities, and I'm going to explain what is that. So it was 1.4. While this guy, it's 1.6. While Rashun is 1.6. Better of this guy. Intercepted, intercepted the, the, the balls more. Or intercepted, yes, the uh, the balls more. Tackles. How many tackles did Basadin make? 1.5. And then this guy had two. 1.5 versus two. So this guy tackles more versus. Could be because they are more attacked, but both their defenders in any case. So he's topping him. How many times were these guys dribbled past? Basadin was dribbled past more times than yes, Rashwin. He was dribbled 1.2 times. Meaning what? It was one chances plus that he was dribbled more versus this guy was only dribbled 0 0.6. Less times that he was dribbled. Not to say that you cannot dribble past him. He's not your He's not your. He's not your look show. He's not your Aaron Wambasaka in terms of defending. But his defending was good. Was good, and it could be the reason why we opted for him. Oh, it could be the reason why that we pushed all out to sign him against. I mean, we were facing competition, as I said. Clearances. This guy, uh, Basadin, had 1.9 clearances. Not bad, not bad, not bad. However, 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 Rashwin had 5.5 clearances. He cleared the ball more than Basadin. Could be because they were attacked more, but he cleared the ball more than Basadin, like way more. Block shot, 0 0.1 for Basadin. He cleared the ball more. 
I mean, he blocked the ball more, Vesa 0.04 for this guy. Blocked the ball more, which could have resulted to goals. Other aspects, talking about successful dribbles, are they taking on players? Sure, they are. I mean, Basadin goes forward more. How many times? 59% for Basadin. He takes on players 59% times versus 42%, which is still not bad. Which is still not bad. However, Pasadena is chopping him here. Grant was worn. Pasadena has worn, like let's say now the ball is on the floor. How many times had has had him, I mean Pasadena managed to dispossess the ball or win those jewels, even get fouled? So ground was ground jewels worn. It was 45% versus 59%. Again, he's chopping him. Arial. This should be obvious, but it's not really obvious. Aerial Jewels won. Remember that this guy is taller than a uh, Pasadin. However, Pasadin's uh, Aerial Jewel won is 70% versus 71% for Rashwin. Position lost. How many times that did they lose position when they have the ball? Still going to go and look at the individual uh, 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 stats. However, comparing them, I think it gives give us more picture. A beautiful picture, overall picture of like how much of a steal is this? Position lost. So, in all the balls that will that Pasadin will have, he will lose the ball twenty times, which is nineteen point five. Versus this guy losing the ball like fourteen point five percent or fourteen point five. So it's like fourteen times, fifteen times, fourteen, fifteen times. Fouls. How many fouls did this guy commit? Pasadena has committed more fouls. He's not that clean versus this guy, but the difference is really marginal. So he has committed 0.9 fouls versus 0.8. So this guy is just a person cleaner versus Pasadena. How many times were these guys fouled? So Pasadena was fouled less versus this guy. So Pasadena was fouled 0.3 times, while this guy was fouled 0.4 times. Still not much of a difference. Then yellow cards, Pasadena had three, this one had four. Thank God that both of them, they don't have red cards. They don't have red cards. So let me just look at the individual now, individual attributes for Rashwin. Rashwin, he's tactical, I mean, he's attacking Perez or is attacking attributes are like 36%, you can say. 36%. It does not really attack, but it does attack, but not much compared to your Basadin, right? Not versus your Basadin show. Sure. Let me just compare quickly uh, with Basadin. Let me check quickly. Nah, should I? Nah, let me not do that. Let me not do that. Let me do that. Let me not do that. I've done that anyway, in, so you can say attacking wise, this guy is attacking like 36% of the times. You can say he's tactical, tactical, not technical. He's, yes, he's technical, rather. He's technical, which is C E, I mean T E C N I K, I mean, sorry, T E C H N I C A L. Technical skills. What are technical skills? Technical skills are a prerequisite for playing soccer and are crucial in a soccer performance. These are crucial moments consisting of winning position or winning position of the ball, yes, and deceiving an opponent by passing or dribbling and most important to score goals. Look at the technical aspect. The technical aspect of this guy, it's not bad. It's 42%. 42%. So meaning what he's able to read the game, he's able to pass those passes and able to create those passes is 42% times. Not bad. He's tactical. Tactical now. Tactical speaks about the skills that are defined as the decisions or actions of players in a contest, in a contest to gain advantage over the opposition team or players. Technical, technical, tactical skills generally refers to a player's field of awareness, uh, their ability to move intelligently with or without the ball. So this guy, tactical, tactical, how good is he? Is 
So he is falling in the 51 or 50 percentile. Meaning what? He's good at reading play, reading the game, gaining advantage over the opposition in terms of disposing them, in terms of playing with and without the ball. 50 percent. Not bad. Not bad. He is creative. It is 40 percent. He's creative, but not that creative versus your Pasadin because, like I said, Pasadini attacks more. But going to compare a bit there. But he's defending, <laughs> guys. There are fewer defenders who are good as this one. 70% in the 70th percentile. At defending, he's proper. He's proper. He's proper. Defenders are charged by their defending versus their attacking. We know that it's modern football now. You must be able to go up front, attack, go up front, and create an add numbers. But he's defending. It's the best. So let me compare uh, him with Basadin when it comes to uh, this table. Basadin, Basadin, Basadin. Uh, it's not showing much, but I think we can get it from the stats. I think we can get it from the stats. But yeah, guys, we managed to get a proper, 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 proper baller. H, his side, height, his side. Uh, the defending attributes and, and then I've shown you that he's topping Basadin shockingly and it could be because of the setup but still he's topping Basadin in many areas and the fact that Ed is still on his side it should scare so many people it should scare oppositions because this guy is going to be with us for a long time and has the elasticity and the capability of growing even further and more than this in a team that is more set up properly set up versus the team that he was playing in. I would say this guy is going to be more in the Bafana International. Black is going to be more there. He's going to get more caps now playing for Keza Chips. And for me, he looks like it looks like he's going to be our number one choice. I don't think Sam would be the number one choice. But obvious, the coach would decide and there'll be competition. But this guy looks like he's going to be our first choice left back and the plus is that is also able to play on the left center back say the clock is injured or suspended or is not performing they were able to change that him and dove can swap as well say that the other one is injured we really bought very well like we really invested very well in this guy he still has ambitions to go overseas still has ambitions so us tying him down for in a long contract i don't know how many years yet we're still gonna get that say that you we do sell him we're gonna make so much money we're gonna make so much money from this guy but let's not think about that at the moment let's think about what is here to do for our team or in our team we bought the best what do you think guys i'm out fc i'm across fan channel sanele sanele here i love you Take care. Please subscribe and hit the join button. Support me. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.